In this video, we want to find the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5, etc. So the way we're going to do this is set x equal to that. We know that this pattern goes on forever. So let's square both sides and divide by 5. So we still get the same pattern here. This is what we started with. This is the same thing, which we said was x. So we can get rid of this and just focus on x squared over 5 equal to x, which means multiplying both sides by 5, we have x squared equals 5x, which is the same thing as x squared minus 5x equals 0. Factoring out an x, we have x times x minus 5 equals 0. That means that either x is 0 or x is 5, but clearly x cannot be 0 because you're taking a square root of a positive number we know that it has to be positive, so we say our final answer is x equals 5. 